we are here at Minipol. We represent the simulation branch of ECA Group. The simulation branch is working in different sectors, aviation simulation, uh, marine simulation and driving simulation. Here we are showing a new training system for police and military. The training system is composed of uh, one light vehicle simulator and one truck simulator. The truck simulator has two seats that allows to train at the same time the driver and the commander. One of the scenarios we are presenting here at Millipol is an intervention on a riot and uh, during the way we have been blocked by a barricade. So we must uh, turn over, make a U-turn and uh, use a different path to, to go to the riot. At any time during the training, the trainer can interact with the simulation using either a tablet or a full instructor station. The tablet, for example, allows to change the scenario and trigger some events like a blockage or like a crossing pedestrian. We can also, in real time, adjust the parameters like time and weather and also insert some malfunctions on the vehicles like a blowing tire. We are welcoming you today at Millipol to present you our land robot solutions. As you can see, we have various sizes of robots from a small robot that can handle it in a rucksack to very complex robots with a long manipulator arm and flippers to increase the mobility of the system. This system, from the small to the very complex one, are dedicating to one mission to protect the the operator when there is an explosive or a contamination risk. So we remotely control uh, the system and we deport uh, the intervention of um, the operator thanks to uh, Siberian sensors that are here to uh, analyze if there is a chemical or radiological risk, thanks to X-ray modules that we interface on the, the robot and that are here to uh, inspect inside the potential threat, and thanks to water jet disruptors uh, that are here to neutralize the potential threat. These systems are in uh, service uh, in uh, land forces, military land forces, and also in the police, in civil security units, in France and uh, worldwide, uh, in various countries such as uh, Canada, Indonesia or Middle East. This many robot is called uh, the Cobra. Uh, it's a small robot dedicated for reconnaissance missions thanks to uh, the cameras that are uh, incrusted in the vehicle uh, chassis and we can hot plug missions modules uh, such as a water cannon that is also called a disruptor to neutralize a potential explosive threat. This land robot is in service in the French army and uh, has been nicknamed uh, Mini Rogen. Mini Rogen that stands for Mini Robot for the Engineering is, uh, he was in service in Afghanistan and uh, is now used in Mali. This lightweight robot uh, is called the Chameleon. He is in service in uh, the army and also in the Paris Police Forces. It's dedicated to uh, counter IED missions. He can do the reconnaissance with the camera that are encrusted all around. And with the manipulator arm, he can extend the capabilities to recover a package or to inspect inside a vehicle, for instance. This medium uh, robot is called the Iguana. It extends the capabilities of the light thread chameleon. Thanks to the very long extension arm, uh, you can handle missions such as uh, package recovery in the rack of an aircraft cabin. The very narrow brief of the systems also permits you to go inside planes, inside metro, inside trucks. So you can basically with this system handle the whole situation uh, to cover against the explosive or the cyberian risk. ECA is for the many decades a specialist in demining, underwater demining, and uh, we are offering uh, robotic solutions all over the world. And we are now working actively on systems of robots which will be dedicated to automate and uh, to uh, interact between uh, different drones, um, unmanned vehicles, surface vehicles, underwater vehicles, ROVs, to offer uh, ro robotic solutions for the 
uh, coastal security, perimeter uh, security, uh, critical infrastructure protection, and underwater demining. For that, we are offering a range of different unmanned surface vehicles, automated ships, which can deploy automatically robots, underwater robots, or uh, UAVs, so uh, aerial drones that we are uh, designing and manufacturing. These uh, naval robotic solutions are, um, have a specific name in ECA, they're called UMIS. Within this name, we are covering all the ranges of solutions that we will offer to the naval industry, military and non-military, defense and security, and uh, homeland security solutions. The solution we are uh, promoting actively recently is uh, UMIS for security to ensure safety and security for coastal surveillance and also for critical infrastructure, uh, coastal infrastructures like uh, nuclear power plants or critical harbors or areas that you want to monitor on a permanent basis using systems of robots that we are designing and uh, manufacturing in ECA. This system is fully uh, integrated in existing uh, safety and perimeter uh, safety solutions like uh, vessel traffic systems or uh, underwater surveillance. So these robotic solutions can be implemented in existing solutions already implemented in these uh, critical infrastructures. They can be permanently installed on a specific site or they can be also containerized to be mobile solutions that could be uh, used for protection of specific events or specific area for a short period of time.